Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have laid down by your precept of charity that we should sincerely love those who afflict us, grant that we may follow the commands of the new law, striving to return good for evil and bearing one another's burdens. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. After the death of Naboth, the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Start down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, who rules in Samaria. He will be in the vineyard of Naboth, of which he has come to take possession. This is what you shall tell him. The Lord says, after murdering, do you also take possession? For this the Lord says, in the place where the dogs licked up the blood of Naboth, the dogs shall lick up your blood too. Ahab said to Elijah, Have you found me out, my enemy? Yes, he answered, because you have given yourself up to doing evil in the Lord's sight. I am bringing evil upon you. I will destroy you and will cut off every male in Ahab's line, whether slave or free man in Israel. I will make your house like that of Jeboam, son of Nebat, or like that of Basha, son of Ahijah because of how you have provoked me by leading Israel into sin. Against Jezebel too, the Lord declared, the dog shall devour Jezebel in the district of Jezeel. When one of, one of our Ahab's line dies in the city, dogs will devour him. When one of them dies in the field, the birds of the sky will devour him. Indeed, no one gave himself up to doing evil in the sight of the Lord, as did Ahab, urged on by his wife Jezebel. He became completely abominable by following idols, just as the Amorites had done, whom the Lord drove out before the children of Israel. When Ahab heard these words, he tore his garments and put on sackcloth over his bare flesh. He fasted, slept in sackcloth, and went about subdued. Then the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Have you seen that Ahab has humbled himself before me? Since he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his time. I will bring the evil upon his house during the reign of his son. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. 
thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin cleanse me. For I acknowledge my offense and my sin is always before me. Against you alone have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Turn away your face from my sins and blot out all my guilt. Free me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God. Then my tongue shall revel in your justice. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, you have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father, for he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Jesus teaches us, be perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect. And so the, first of all, we look up to the Father, God our Father, our Heavenly Father, and secondly, we want to imitate him with the help of God, that we too would strive to be perfect, to strive to be all-inclusive in our relationships with family and neighbors, and even if you would, enemies, so that we would imitate God, who, as it says in today's reading, lets the sun rise on both the good and the bad, and the rain fall upon the good and the bad. So we too are as to be all-inclusive and to let our attention, our love, our forgiveness upon the good and the bad. <clears throat> the theme of the Mass today that I'm using is that for to pray for oppressors, people who oppress, people who, if you would, persecute, uh, believers in our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm thinking not only here in our own country where that sometimes happens, but especially in other nations, especially in nations that are, if you would, under communist rule, such as China or Cuba or other places, but even other countries where there is perhaps a very secular government and therefore are very much opposed to religion and to the Catholic Church. So uh, I ask you to please pray for not only those oppressors, but also those persons who are undergoing persecution. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for all those associated with him, that God would help him in his duties. We pray to the Lord. Lord and for our own Bishop Joseph, that God would help him in fulfilling his duties as the Bishop of this diocese, we pray to the Lord. We pray too for all deacons, priests, seminarians, religious men and women, that God would help us in living out our life in union with God, we pray to the Lord. For you, the laity, we ask God's help and blessing to fulfill your duties as uh, sons and daughters of God through baptism, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our 
We pray for the sick, that God will touch them and heal them, especially those who are affected by the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And please take a moment to offer your own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and dear God, we offer these petitions to you. We ask you to please grant them if they are in accord with your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit of the earth, work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept that sacrifice in your hands, but pray that the Lord is your name. For our good and good for the whole church. In our longing to be at peace with everyone, O Lord, we offer you this sacrifice for those who are against us, and we commemorate the death of your Son, through which, while still enemies, we have been reconciled to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death, O Lord, and the your resurrection unto you, O And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. And <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We pray in particular for Joseph Mulray. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power and the glory are yours now and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Oh. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter on the time, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. <clears throat> Through these mysteries of our peace, grant, O God, that we may live in harmony with all, and bring those who are against us to find favor with you, and be reconciled to us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And go in the peace of Christ to Thank love you. and serve the Lord. Thank you, God.